Hey, 703 Mathematicians, Mr. Herman here, coming with a video to help you out with essential assessment. A few of you have are uh, finding some of the worksheets in the My Numeracy section a bit tricky. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to make a mini series uh, talking about different facts um, about the topic in itself. So this topic that we're going to be looking at right now is just going to look at triangle triangle characteristics characteristics. So we all know that a triangle is a shape that has three straight lines that connect, three straight lines, three vertices or points. And then obviously inside them, we have three different angles. Sometimes these angles can be the same. Sometimes they can be different. Sometimes they have special um, uh, special identities and then we label them certain amounts. The one really, really important feature <clears throat> is that when you add, when you add, when you add the angles, uh, specifically the three angles, when you add the three angles uh, within the triangle, so you were to measure them up, get an angle, get another angle, and get another angle, when you add these three angles, this will always equal 180 degrees, regardless of what type of triangle it is. There are different types of triangles and we'll get to that in a second. Um, there are three angles within a triangle and they always add up to 180 degrees. Next part we're going to look at is the different types of angles, not different types of angles, sorry, different types of triangles. So different types of triangles. And we know that there are, well, I know there are four different types of triangles. The four different types of triangles that you can get in regards to the lengths and its angles. The first one is called an equilateral triangle. Okay, equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle just means and you can see by this identity here, EQ, or just in the words, EQU means equal. Okay, EQU, you think of equal, equal being the same. These lengths are the same. And so when I draw this line, this dash line here, this indicates that any other line that you see with that dash is the same length. So say for instance, this might be three centimeters. That means that because there's, there's a dash here, that has to be three, and that has to be three. So our equilateral, equilateral triangle, three side lengths are the same. Three side lengths are the same. And also the three angles are also the same. The three angles, they're, they're equal. And this ties back to this first fact here that all the three angles when you add them up equal 180. And so if all of these angles in here are equal, there's only one type of angle that can fit for all of these three in here to make them equal 180. And in this case, it's 60 degrees. There's no other angle that is the same and when you add it up, we'll give you 180. Only 60 can work. Because think about it this way, if we were to get 180 and split this into three parts, the only answer you can get is 60. Now this is only for equilateral triangles, okay? So, equilateral triangle is your first triangle. The second triangle <coughs> we're gonna look at, excuse me, second triangle we're gonna look at is called a right angle triangle. And a right angle triangle, right angle triangle has an angle, has at least one angle in there, that's a right angle. And a right angle, a right angle triangle, a right angle just means it has an angle that is 90 degrees. So this here 
is 90 degrees. So if you see a 90 degree angle within a triangle or this little owl shape or sometimes a backwards owl or upside down owl depending on the perspective of the triangle, if you see that you automatically know we are dealing with a right angle triangle. And the special property is that it always has 90 degrees. The side lengths, they could all be different. Okay, it's not necessarily the same. Sometimes they can be the same, maybe two of them will be the same. Um, it's impossible to get all three of them the same if uh, there is a right angle triangle. Uh, there is a proof behind it, but we don't need to look into that right now. Um, so a special identity, 90 degrees. The third, I'm just gonna pop myself over there. The third type of triangle. Uh, the third type of triangle is called a scalene triangle. Uh, I'm just gonna swap my colors. Okay. A scalene triangle. Scalene triangle. I like to think of the scalene triangle as the odd triangle out. It doesn't really have any special features about it. <clears throat> And what I mean by this is that all the angles, all the angles are different. All the angles are different and all the side lengths or side lengths, uh, that too are also different. All side lengths are different as well. So, if you get a triangle that has different lengths and different angles inside of them, it's considered a scalene triangle. On the condition that if one of these angles appears to be 90 degrees, we're then talking again about a right angle triangle, okay? So just be careful that when you're talking about a scalene triangle, that it's not a right angle triangle if it has 90 degrees in it. If it's 89 and two other different angle numbers, then it's not a right angle triangle, it's a scaling triangle, okay? And the fourth and last one is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles. I always um, forget how to write isosceles, I always used to anyways. And then I um, just remembered I, SOS, and then Celes, like celery. Um, I don't know why it's stuck. <laughs> you feel free, to, feel free to use it if you want to remember it that way. An isosceles triangle, when drawn, will have sometimes it might look like this or sometimes it might look like this, okay? All this is showing is that there are two sides that are the same length, that are the same length. And the other thing, the other thing that we have to notice is that with the definition of triangles, if we have a triangle that has two of the same length side, by default, two of the angles, two of the angles have to be the same. Not all three, just two, two angles have to be the same. Be the same. And to know which angles are the same, the angles that are the same, are the ones that where the line, the one of the pairs of lines hits the other others, the other length line, that's where the angle is. And opposite that over here is where the same angle will be. Okay, so these two angles will be the same. It won't be this angle here and this angle here that will be the same because this uh, meeting point and meets up with the line that is the same. But we don't want to do that. We want to meet up with the line that isn't the same length, okay? And so that, that's why sometimes they put these two lines here to show you um, that it is 
the this line where the angle meets that's the angles that are the same now it looks like i've kind of drawn myself a little smiley face so i'm going to go along with it he's a little happy happy chubby dude maybe he's got a little tooth sticking out <laughs> okay and that concludes this little episode on tribal characteristics my advice is that you should write this down into your exercise book, your maths exercise book. So that way, when it comes to your post test, you have these notes readily available. Okay. And I will see you in another video. Take care, guys. Bye.